King's Quest is finally out. Is it hard? Or is it easier than we think? I'll have the answers for you right after this. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for some more WWE Supercard tips, tricks as always. If you guys enjoyed the episode, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for some awesome Supercard content as always. So as you all know, the King's Quest has finally released in Supercard. We have, I believe, eight days total we had to get all the stuff we can. So guys, as you can see, there is a King Booker and a King Corbin cards in King of the Ring. So if you are in WrestleMania tier, you are guaranteed to get one of these cards if you win two king of the rings all you need to do is win two king of the rings now the sweet part about this quest is you don't have to do it in the tier that you're in uh if you're a wrestlemania player you could do this in beast monster titan make your lives easier sure your rewards won't be great but all you care about is getting the crown and every King of the Ring, you actually have a chance to actually get Booker T and King Corbin. So sandbagging is going to be really, really efficient for a lot of people. Everyone should be doing it. Don't feel bad about others because everyone else should be doing it as well. It's all about strategy and supercard these days. So, uh, yeah, all you need to do is attain one crown card. You get three WrestleMania train-ups. If you win again, you will get the card back. So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, after you do everything, you will get either King Corbin or King Booker. Now, the King Corbin image is actually decent. The King Booker image is somewhat recycled, but I'd rather get King Booker all day because that is just my man. So we did win our King of the Ring, by the way. Now, this is a Royal Rumble King of the Ring. So I know my rewards are going to be crap. All I care about is getting a crown. And then there's an opportunity that I might get King Corbin or King Booker. Let's see how bad the odds are. Uh, probably going to be terrible, to be honest. But all we care about is the crown. So, yeah, I believe the rewards... We didn't get King Booker or King Corbin. We didn't get anyone at all. But all we cared about was the crown. Now, guys, I would say save the crown. Never use it. You never know. They could have a fusion out one day. Save your crowns until the end of the event. But for me, unfortunately, I didn't get anything good out of that. I didn't get the card at all. And I smoked these guys with my deck. Now, again, guys, you can lower your deck to as low as possible. But you always will have a chance. You'll get the crown in every king of the ring. And you'll also have a bonus chance of getting King Booker and King Corbin. Now, I believe you could do this even in Beast. So I'm actually going to lower my deck real quick. Still got to do it my real Ripley, but I want to get a uh, unlocked Beast. We're going to put in crappy cards here just to get an example real quick for you guys. So let's see how low can we go. Pretty sure we can go really, really low. Alright. Cataclysm. Alright, so I think one more and we should figure this all out. Might need to lower this Triple H because he's a little high up there. So yeah, you could literally be in Titan King of the Rings. If you probably got rid of the these cards, maybe it will drop you down a little bit but I don't really know alright so Titan is, the, Titan is the lowest you can go and as you can see you can literally get the crown and a bonus chance at a King Booker and a King Corbin so it just makes the most sense to sandbag uh, if I would say sandbag not to piss off players I would say Titan would be your best bet I think you'll get mostly bots 
and you could just destroy everyone down there with sandbag with your titan deck so honestly guys just sandbag your decks and this quest will be easy for you to complete it would be like shooting fish in a barrel now remember you need to be wrestlemania tier to get the guaranteed king booker and king corbin in your quest if you are royal rumble and below i believe you only have a chance to get them so but only wrestlemania people in tier can guaranteed get the card so yeah guys i hope you all take my advice on how to do this king of rings easier just don't who cares about i know it's double rewards right now but who cares about the wrestlemania cards they're not even gonna be as close to as good as the king corbin king booker just do it the right way and you should be good all right thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on the next episode take care peace out